Hey YouTube, it's your ugly sweater with the two knuckleheads. I said I was going to do questions and on Sunday I did ask the question and uh, people answered. And today I wanted to do it with none other than my best friend Leo. The question this week was... So, for this evening's question I like to ask, what is or was your biggest self-esteem issue? And did it get worse or just better as time went on? Did you get over it or and deal with it, or did you let it take control of you? Uh, you know, self-esteem is a serious matter. Everybody goes through it. Um, I did take a class in college where it talks about, uh, you know, the Eurocentric mentality and the Afrocentric mentality and how it's very common. And the Eurocentric mentality, which is basically kind of like a pyramid mentality of the way the world works, is that, you know, it's very common for people to have self-esteem issues um, because of, you know, your history, your background, your ethnicity your, your religion your sex or whatever so we all have had self-esteem issues who hasn't it's actually also part of life well what was your what is no let's start with you what was your self-esteem issue well my self-esteem issues he's being an asshole right now guys i used to have a really close best friend when i was younger long just like very long years of knowing her and she was like my first friend whatever and she uh, my issue was she was the big bloomer and whatever. I was the early bloomer, she was the late bloomer, she got her boobs in, and I was the one, the early bloomer. I got my period first, got everything first, but I came with the smaller set, she came with the bigger set. And of course, you know, it gave me self-esteem issues because it was a lot more easier for her to be get the attention of men as it was for me because of course at that time in middle school, you know, the attention of men is kind of more like the savages. Kind of like, oh my God, titties. Because, you know, they're growing, so titties. So uh, as I got older, I grew to have a huge self-esteem issue with breasts until I was introduced to Victoria's Secret. Woo! I did also ask in the question if I let it take control of me for a certain point in a period of time, it did. But eventually, uh, I just, you know, I got over it. Um, eventually my breasts did grow. It's just, you know, it took me a long time to admit to the fact that just because I don't have the biggest breast or the most luscious looking breast does not mean that I can't get attention and therefore that, you know, even down in the end. But so, uh, how's with you? What's your, what was your self esteem issue? I had many, but, uh, I guess the main one that still sticks around was, uh, my weight problem because I was a very chunky kid when I was younger and, um, <laughs> I was, I was. Um, Supposedly his mother said that he looked like a guitar shape. I've never heard that in a day in my life. But if anybody knows what an acoustic guitar looks like, it's just like round over trying here. Trying to say that she like has a woman's ass. Big ass titties over here. Basically an hourglass body and it's just weird that my mom would uh, make fun of me for that. But yeah. Um, Don't worry about it. My mom makes fun of me anytime she sees I have a small issue belly problem. You know those moments you let yourself go just a tad bit. Uh, or just too lazy to work out and it's like, oh, yeah, you got a stomach get rid of it. And it's like, okay Sometimes we don't realize that hurts but You know, sometimes to be honest sometimes you need that because sometimes it reminds you that you you know You can't just be lazy about your your, your health. So did you let that control you? Um Yeah, I can't lie. It, it, it still controls me sometimes, but I, I, I try to get over it, you know mm -hmm. It's just that I, in my head. I have a, um, a vision of my body and it's not there, but I will get there eventually he will. He just he just needs to be forced to do no, some some type of leadership. Leadership. Yeah. yeah, bitch, I'm not scared. As like I mentioned before in the video, have asked questions, and we got some answers. Of course, names will not be mentioned as usual. So eventually in the video, you'll just know that these your no names will not be mentioned. Uh, one person said, "My appearance and height was mine. It got better because as time went on, I realized my key asset was socializing." Well, so is the social social ad. Social ad. well, you know what it meant. So, and the next one was my biggest self esteem issue was my self esteem. I always doubted myself and assumed everyone was right, and I was overreacting. Occasionally, it slips to this day, but I've learned to trust my judgment and be able to say no sometimes. That coming of age lesson slapped me in the face the day I realized my parents aren't always right, which is true. Your parents aren't always right, but it's a parent theory, parent child theory. So, the next one was. My biggest self-esteem issue is my weight and physical appearance. I have always been larger than life all my life. 
I admit sometimes in my life, I lost a lot, but something always sent me back. For instance, I once met a girl I thought was going to spend the rest of my life with. We met in a group chat for class. I started online, then texting, and the long phone distance. This is pre-smartphone, so if, so we didn't know what each other looked like yet. We finally decided to meet at a school party, and she never showed. She emailed me that she saw me across the room and didn't like that I was as big as I was. She, never, she said over the phone, I was everything anyone could want in a guy, in, in a person I was. She never wanted to talk to me ever again. That's fucked up. But you know what? There are people out there like that. Uh, the next person said, Lack of self-worth and always thinking that what others said was absolutely, absolutely true. It held me back for years until I took charge and people responded better because they knew they couldn't tease me. I was confident either way. Now that's the way to live. Maybe. Don't give a shit about what people say because then, you know, they can't hurt you. What the hell? I had moves. I, I guess this guy wanted to say I had boobs. Man boobs. It's basically moobs. Oh, Man moobs. Boobs. There you go. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't and couldn't get over it and instead I started to work out so they could disappear. They aren't 100% gone, but I can walk with my head held high. Also, they don't look like moves anymore. Uh-huh. That's a good response because it shows some people, you know, sometimes with your self-esteem, you either let it take control of you or you take control of it. So you could either let it be uh, what consumes your life or you let it uh, take a back seat. Mm. Take a back seat. Okay, so the last one is the only self-esteem issue for me was honestly being short. I don't know why, but I always felt like taller people were just better. They always seemed to run the world in my mind, like all the those superheroes, presidents and stuff. They're all tall. I always wanted to be taller, but sometimes I love being short. At the end of the day, if I had a choice, I would be taller. If you have any responses to the question, just answer below. And, uh, you know, we can totally see what your self-esteem issues were and whether you felt, you know, you controlled it or not. Or is it still something that's really proficient or, you know, really stands out. So, obviously you shouldn't, especially as a grown person. not saying it doesn't happen, but, you know, you know, basically having a better handle on it or... Somewhat. Is there anything else you want to mention? Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Um, please keep up. And you know, thank you to our subscribers. That uh, uh um, I don't know, them, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next time on Your Ugly Sweater on YouTube. Bye, guys. Keep it classy. Keep, keep it classy. classy. Uh,